And when I got this show, I brought in all my old toys as a way of telling like the big time politicians that I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? They <laughs> yeah. come and they see the toys. They're like, all right, the Millennium Falcon's here. How serious could this be? And it makes yeah. my life a little bit easier. Well, I'll give you some inside scoop about our new show, which Let's go. I thought was embarrassing at the time. But now maybe upon this revelation, this may actually be cool. But Jeff. He's the rookie of our bunch. We have an expert. His name is Murray Crow. He's been metal mm -hmm. detecting for 40-something years. Mm -hmm. He taught me. Well, then I got Jep in, but he's kind of the rookie, the newbie. But most of the things Jep found was into two categories, trash and toys. I found a lot of toys. He guys. found like a lot toys. of toys. So, so explain <laughs> this to me. You're in the woods looking for buried treasure. Yep. Okay. People bury toys or do they just forget them on like camping trips? What do you think? I think they were just left there. I think they because they were pretty surface, okay, okay, sea level. But they're there. But they're there. Like old <laughs> toy. I, mean, I found an amazing old plane that was like from the '60s. I mean, it, it was, was kind of a cool. And it was cool. And I mean, it's like Jeff. Every time I turn around, one time I don't even think this made the show, but it was one of the hardest I've ever laughed on the show. We came up. We thought we had actually found this fantastical treasure, and we mm -hmm. were excited. And Jeff came up, and he's like. Look, I found this cool bulldozer. <laughs> it was a little kid's yes. bulldozer. Yes, it was old. This so. was the big breakthrough. Uh, yeah. But I also understand. So you're in the wood. You also found Hillary Clinton's email server. Is that true? <laughs> this we? is a big break, big political break. <laughs> I don't remember. Hi, it. kid. Stop. Oh, I'm talking okay. to Jason Jet Robertson. Yeah. The show Duck Family Treasure. It's a brand new series. It's streaming right now on FoxNation.com. Uh, I have questions. I All right, get give into them this. to us. Okay, because this is fascinating stuff. Hidden right. cannons filled with gold. Okay, I understand yes. that's what you're hunting for. We were. Why were they a thing? Do we know why? I think someone, we need Murray here to for, give was this, the, do you remember was it like a Civil War relic or something and they stashed the gold? It was, they, there was a, look, a lot of the stories where we take off, uh -huh. they're what I call fantastical stories that pass down. But we went, I mean, if you're going to go treasure hunting, mm -hmm. you're going to go do this awesome adventure in yeah, the yeah. outdoors with people that, you mm -hmm. know, you, you love and depend on. Why not go for the whole kit and caboodle? Yeah. We went after <laughs> so, some legend. Yeah. Legend like the Goonies, missing. you went and found a pirate ship, like Chester Copperpot and all that? We, we actually found, we, we had a moment where, where there was a famous story about a steamboat had crashed uh -huh. within, what, two hours of where we lived? Yeah. Wow. And so Murray's like, I, th I think we can find this. And <laughs> Now look, did I actually believe we were going to find this? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he had the itch, as they say, uh -huh. and uh, he had actually found something really spectacular earlier in the day. And it was like, where do we go from here? Uh -huh. So he's like, I want to go try to find this steamboat. And so he has invented several items that we use on the show that go more than what a metal detector can go down. You know, a metal uh -huh. detector, people don't know this. It can only search about a foot oh, below the surface. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I mean, it's these things cost like $800, $1,000, but you're only going down a foot. But what he invented, I think, goes down 100 feet. Yeah. And so he made one of them amphibious, which is kind of what the show yeah. was about. And we actually found this wrecked steamboat that was happened, what, 150 years before? Yeah. It was like 1800s. We wow. found it. Yeah. That's badass. Yeah, yeah I mean, was cool. I didn't know where we were supposed to go from there. The producers were looking around. I was like, I think we need some divers and <laughs> some <laughs> big <laughs> equipment. But we just kind of ended with, oh, here's what we found. But you actually yeah. found something, which is amazing, because yeah. I'm so used to watching shows where they don't find. I used to watch a show, Finding Bigfoot. They were yeah. on like their fifth season. They had the show should be called Not Finding Bigfoot. They never found Bigfoot. Well, exactly. But, but, I'm not sure how that yeah. <laughs> took off. I'm like, how do you get another season out of this? Well, You've never found Bigfoot. But here we are. I actually thought I found Bigfoot. And <laughs> I'll tell you a story. We have these deer cams, you know, we uh -huh. keep up with, you know, our property and what's eating, you know, the various things that we're putting out for hunting season because we believe it's kind of God's grocery store. <laughs> but my brother Willie, our other brother, had mm -hmm. walked by mm -hmm. one of the deer cams camps and the way his arms were positioned when we first saw that uh -huh. i thought i actually have bigfoot but it turned out to be my brother so. well, one of my favorite comedians <laughs> mitch hedberg says he's fantastic you can't find him because he's actually blurry 
He is blurry. Because <laughs> of every video. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Great Mitch Hedberg joke. He's like, you know, I like escalators because they can't break. They just become stairs. That's you right. It's really funny. Uh, yep. We're talking to Jason Jet Robertson, the new series, Duck Family Treasure, streaming on Fox Nation. Uh, go to foxnation.com right now. Make some moves. When you guys are walking around as the duck dynasty badasses that you are, uh, do you guys get stopped a lot? Like, what's your what's your travel game like? We actually have been stopped in between shows. We got stopped about <laughs> ten minutes ago. Did right you know, outside? That's, yeah, that's family so funny. from South Carolina. We did. Yeah. I know. It was a young girl. She got all teary eyed, and I thought, I'm not sure. What does she feel sorry for us? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, she was really sweet. Aww. But I, look, we try to do things, uh, especially in the young people world, the teenagers, because they're looking around wondering who they are and what you know yeah. what happened. We uh, we've all been there, but we try to do inspiring things. I mean, we even the show, uh, you know, we try to make it more about heart and character. Yeah. And you know, at the end, it's about you know who you're with, not necessarily what you find. And yep. I think that's why the show has been successful. So so far there's a lot more heart than you would think it's a good hang uh, yeah it is see it's... we pitched fox nation a show about going in the woods and finding all of your beer empties to get rich off of after you guys are done shooting would we make money on that deal well you, you got to have some heart somewhere <laughs> it's not the film. where's the heart it sounds like a yes it does sound like we'd find the empties. you do surprisingly find a lot of beer cans you out. do right oh, it is true gosh, jeff is an expert at finding uh beer cans that are a foot deep because it makes you wonder <laughs> Yeah, how did I, they get down there? How did it, <laughs> you digging a hole for your empty beer? You're burying your beer can? You know, they do like message in a bottle. No one ever talks about message in a beer can, but it's just, that's, I guess it's a, it's dug down. That's, that's fascinating true. stuff. All right, I'm going to give you another one because Murray turned 75 during this season of the show. He does. It's my understanding he was surprised with something called a meteorite hunt. Now, what does that constitute? You're looking for meteorite pieces in the world? You know, world? we were just flying by the seat of our pants on that. He's done that before, but okay. I'm like, you actually go out and find things that rocks from outer space that have been there thousands of years. I can't tell you if we actually found one because I don't think that episode has aired. Okay. Oh, we, yeah, you don't want to blow it. No spoilers. Well, no spoilers, but I'll just tell you this. It was uh, must-see TV. <laughs> <laughs> and look, well you, done. You think about it. I was a little apprehensive about it because, uh -huh. look, how do horror movies start? Yeah. You find a rock. It's from outer space. The next thing you know, something crawls out of it, goes in your ear, and the next uh -huh. thing you know, know you're a nightmare that's so the I, worst i was a little scared about that <laughs> that's a, it's another reason we all need to quit smoking so much weed in this country that's a <laughs> bug in a rock it's gonna kill us all i mean it, it, <laughs> which... i'll take your word for it on that. <laughs> hey D, yeah don't, don't get started defense wins championships um i'm fascinated by this and i think what a lot of people benefit from in this day and age for real is escapism escapism you go out to the woods you're not doing what I'm doing right now, which is talking about politics all day or culture war BS or yeah. anything in between. I almost feel like, I mean, you guys grew up in this environment. So on some level, you're so used to it. Is it even escapism? It's almost like you're not escaping. You're just, this is your home at this point, no? Yeah, I mean, ever yeah. since I've been here, I have just so, feel real anxious. And I was going to say, this I'm is almost your escapism, but you want to go back, right? I want to go back. I like just the horizon with woods and water and out in the outdoors and uh, that's just well when i was eating dinner last night there was um some people there next to us and they were talking about oh oh I just went to marseille oh marseille oh, and i went to monte carlo and they're <laughs> i was like man we are just this it, ain't our scene going totally different directions in life <laughs> but uh, I, I appreciate the woods i think more than marseille oh yeah. I, I would agree no, i always my escapism this morning was I was one tree in a mist of all these buildings and people, and I just went over and got next to that tree. And I thought, <laughs> whew, looks like it's me and you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> There's no place like home. I get it. Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. We're talking to Jason Jep Robertson, uh, Duck Family Treasure, streaming on Fox Nation right now. Uh, I always find that in New York, uh, you can find what you're looking for. Like I used to drive a taxi in New York City. Oh, if boy. you know, but you have to know where to look. That's the thing. Because every yeah. culture, everything in the world is here. Like you'd find people that hang out in the woods and stuff that might have lived yeah. in Vermont or something in between. But most people who come here wind up in the big box. You know, you wind up in Times Square or something like that. Yeah. But like, for instance, like if you wanted to see like a magic show, you get on the one train, there's a magician that'll make your wallet disappear like two minutes after you get on the train. <laughs> <laughs> there's, yeah. there's always there's always something. But I could find you anything as a cab driver. Like 
like if you were really homesick, you wanted like seriously an alligator. If you gave me an hour, like I wouldn't have the gator, but I'd have a firm commitment to get it here within like three hours if we had the money. So next time you're here, if you're feeling, you know, you feel a little lonely, you call up your old cab driving buddy. We'll make some magic happen. I think we could. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, treasure upstate. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. But in the city itself, that's a good Fox Nation show. We're just looking for underground vice. Like, I could get get you a giraffe down on Baxter Street. I want to go frog hunting in, like, Central Park. (laughs) Yeah, let's do that. That would be great. There's all kinds of stuff going on in Central Park, man. You'll meet time travelers, you know, people from other dimensions. Oh, we're going there later, so uh, maybe that was the whole treasure. (laughs) You know, the irony of this is you're going to find Bigfoot. It turns out he's just in Central Park. (laughs) He's just hanging out. It's the next show. Uh, but this show, it's 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 really amazing. Like I'm excited. Uh, all I got to watch was the trailer, but oh, it, wow. it's so funny because it's just you two there instead of here. It's you guys and Murray. It's the same vibe. You know what I mean? You can't fake the thing you guys are. Just like me, when people meet, they know you can't fake being as dumb as I am. Like this is what I am. There's no you know dressing it up. And uh, there's a realism to the whole thing that I think everyone listening would benefit from. So how about that for a promo? I uh, love it. I nice mean, look, I, when we started doing TV, I said. We're going to be who we are because we can rep- we can reproduce that. Yeah, it's <laughs> if so people true. like it, great. If not, oh well, we tried. No, but it's so true. I did the same thing with the radio. I got like, hey man, I used to drive a taxi in the city. I don't know what I'm doing. It makes my life so easy because if I have yeah. to get on and pretend I know what I'm doing, like people are going to figure it'll, it out eventually. Right. It'll never work. No, no, we're just ghost riding this bad boy. It, it was an honor <laughs> to do it. Uh, exactly. The season is streaming now. It is on Fox Nation, Duck Family Treasure. Episodes 1 through 5 available now. Episodes 6 through 10, they come out Sunday, June the 26th. You'll have to wait to find out about that meteor rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. you. Must see. Must see. No, no. Well well played. Uh, You guys will always have this. Enjoy New York. Uh, get back home safe in one piece. I know how desperately you want to get out of this godforsaken town. <laughs> I'm right there with you. But there they go. Jason, Jet Robinson, two badasses. You can catch them in the woods on Fox Nation. It's Duck Family Treasure. 